Coming up next on Amazing Discoveries, we'll show you how to turn on the human calculator in you. Now, here's the host of Amazing Discoveries, Mike Levy. Welcome, welcome. I want you to meet a friend of mine who is fondly referred to as the human calculator. You'll see why. Scott Flansburg. What is 497 times uh, 35? What is that? 17,395. <laughs> right on the button. Now, Scott obviously likes math. But let's be honest with ourselves. How many people in today's studio audience have been frustrated or intimidated by math? How many people here? <laughs> Me too. But you know, the important thing is that if you don't pick up math young as a child, it can actually slow down or stop how far you can go in life. It can limit how much money you can make. And aren't we tired of hearing how America's educational system is falling apart? How other countries like Japan are producing smarter kids? Huh? Well, today's amazing discovery is going to turn all that around because our special guest says that by the end of today's show, everyone in our audience and you at home are going to be able to do complex mathematical calculations, not on paper and not with an old-fashioned calculator, but in your head. Scott, how is this possible? Mike, just keep an open mind because today I'm going to show you and everyone watching how to tap into this power we have deep down inside us and we just don't know how to turn it on. That would be great. But before you get started, Scott, we have one of our famous Amazing Discoveries challenges just for you. Are you ready? I'm ready, Mike. Okay. A while back, Scott Flansburg appeared on Gary Collins' home show. And by the end of the show, 22,000 people phoned in and admitted that they were poor in math. And we've invited four of them to join us here on today's Amazing Discoveries. And they're from across the nation. They're from Florida, from California, and even all the way from Alabama. Welcome, everyone. Now, here's the challenge. Scott claims that by the end of today's show, he's going to have you all doing complex math calculations in your head. Are you ready for that? Okay, Scott, go for it. Oh, no, Mike. I'm not going to do it. I've got to do this show with you. So what I did was I brought a friend with me that's going to take him backstage during the show and teach him how to do everything. Okay, bring out Scott's friend. Kevin, come on out. I need Kevin. There he is. Wait a minute. This is a little boy. You're going to train him? Yeah. Mike, you should, I can't believe this. Yeah, Mike, that's just it. This program is so easy, anybody can learn it. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. Are you sure you can do this? It's a piece of cake. Okay, you're out of here. Take him backstage and train him. We'll check back with you later and see how you're doing. Everyone here want to see some more demonstrations from Scott? Okay, but just to make it interesting, we've enlisted the help of Ray Gayton. Now, Ray Gayton is a certified public accountant from the nationwide accounting firm Panel Curve Forrester, and he's here to check Scott's accuracy. He's going to follow along with Scott using his adding machine here. And Scott, for every correct answer, you're going to hear this sound. But Scott, should you give us a wrong answer, Ray's going to give you one of these. Okay, thanks, Ray. And to give you some really tough problems, we have an entire Girl Scout troop here in our audience. Troop number 1525 from Van Nuys, California. And they're going to give you some really tough problems, Scott. Are you ready? I'm ready, Mike, but afterwards, I want to show everybody how easy it is and that anybody can learn how to do this. Okay, well, let's put you to work first. What is your name? Patricia. Patricia, let's give Scott uh, a big, long row of three-digit numbers to add up. Give him four three-digit numbers, and Scott's going to add them in his head. Go ahead. 333. Plus. 454. Plus. 699. Plus. 999. And okay. i got to give you one, too. Here's one. 984. 3,469. Right on. <laughs> and how do you do that in your head? Mike, it's so easy. If I could, could you have the girl that gave me the addition problems? I want to bring her down here Go down there, and teach her how to do it. Okay, and what's your name? Patricia. Patricia. When we normally add a column of numbers up, don't we start on the right-hand side and then go to the left and carry and all that stuff? It's pretty difficult. But I want to show you a real easy way to get the answer, okay? Now, instead of starting over here, let's start on the left-hand side. In this one right here, doesn't it stand for 100? Yes. And what does this 2 stand for? 200. Okay, so now let's keep a running total in our heads, okay? What's 100 plus 200? 300. Plus another 100? 400. Right, plus 200 more? 600. Okay, now let's go to the top of the next column, which is the tens, right? So this 210 stands for 20, so add it to 600, and what do you get? 620. Plus 20 more? 640. Plus 20 more? 660. Plus 10 more? 670. Okay, now we'll go to the top of the ones. What's 670 plus 3? 673. Plus 6 more? 679. Plus 1? 
680. And four more. 684. 684, and that's the right answer. Patricia! You Isn't that easy? That in your head. Let's hear it for Patricia. But Mike, bring me the other girl down. I want to show Cassie, her how to do something else. What's your name? You're pretty smart. Cassie, are you pretty good at multiplication? Yeah. All right, I want to show you a shortcut for real big numbers. Like, let's say we wanted to multiply 95 times 95, okay? Now, here's how you do it. How far is 95 from 100? 5. Okay, so what you do is you put minus 5 underneath, and what do you get? What's 95 minus 5? 90. I mean. 90. You had it. You had it. It's all right. And now, take this number here and square it. What's 5 times 5? 25. And bring it right down here, and that's the answer to 95 times 95. 9,025. Is that easy? Wow. Okay, you try one. 96 squared. That means 96 times 96. Now, how do you do it? Okay, 96 from 100 is 4. So you 4. Minus 4. Minus 4, and what do you get? 92. Okay, write that down. Now, what do I do? Square the 4, which is 16, and put it after 96. Great, and what's the answer to 96 times 96? 9,216. That was terrific. Oh. It's that easy, Mike. Very good. Scott, these girls caught right on. Congratulations, girls. How do you do that? Mike, I see thousands of kids, parents, and teachers every week, and I see the same results time and time again. Well, we want to see those results for ourselves. So we took our camera crew and visited Choya Junior High School in Phoenix, Arizona, where Scott's been teaching his methods and having some pretty amazing results. All right, Nicole, we have your math book, and notice how I have to use a calculator for this. <laughs> You ready? What's uh, 462 plus 385 plus 517? What is that? 1,364. That's correct. That's really good. That was pretty easy, thanks. That was easy? Come yeah. On. All right, Kyle, what's 24 times 97? Um, 2,328. <laughs> That's right. It takes me longer to put in the calculator. All right, Carly, your problem is 93 squared. 8,649. Well, that's very pushy. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> very good. Okay, here's something different. What is the cube root, and I didn't even know what a cube root was, let alone do the stuff in your head, of 195,112? What's that, Zach? 58. 58, you did. <laughs> Just imagine the advantage that these kids are going to have for the rest of their lives because of Scott's method. That's something. You know, when I brought this tape piece back to our studios, everyone was so impressed with how fast Carla got the answer that we flew Carla and her Aunt Diana here to our studios in Los Angeles, and we're going to give Carla another tough problem. You ready? You ready, Carla? Okay, but just to show everyone that you have no calculator there, show them your hands. <laughs> Nothing up her sleeves. No sleeves. Here's a tough one. I'm going to give you... 73 squared. Now, 73 squared is 73 times 73. What's the answer to that? 5,329. Wow. You did it just as fast. Carla's Aunt Diana, that's got to amaze you. It does amaze me. Um, last evening, she was showing me a little bit about how to do it, and I couldn't believe how easy Scott's methods were. So once you catch on, it's not very hard. Scott, looks like adults like your methods, too. You're right, Mike. My program gives parents the opportunity to help their children, but more importantly, help themselves because adults use so much math in everyday life. That's true. <laughs> Tina Jansen, now, you finished high school, but, but you didn't go on to college. That's right, Mike. Math was real hard for me in high school, and it was very discouraging. Amazing discovery! <laughs> Lär dig använda miniräknaren i huvudet och göra invecklade räkneoperationer för nu finns Human Calculator på TV Fox. Släng miniräknaren, strunta i papper och penna, sluta svettas över långa och krångliga tal. Lär dig klara av de mest komplicerade räkneoperationer i huvudet. Ofta fortare än en miniräknare. 1858. Det är så enkelt att ett barn klarar av det. Åtskilliga skolbarn har lärt sig att matte är roligt tack vare den mänskliga miniräknaren Human Calculator. All right, Nicole, we have your math book, and notice how I have to use a calculator for this. You ready? What's uh, 462 plus 385 plus 517? What is that? 1,364. That's correct. That's really good. That was pretty easy, thanks. That was easy? All right, Kyle, what's 24 times 97? Um, 2,328. <laughs> That's right. It takes me longer to put in the calculator. 
Är du bekymrad för att du inte kan hjälpa barnen eller barnbarnen med matten? Ge inte upp. Beställ 